mean, I was talking to SKF, who said that uh, this decade, would, if I was a manufacturing company, this would be my decade, and it would be much different than what the previous one has been. But manufacturing is a very wide bucket, uh, multiple industries, multiple sectors, multiple themes. How are you guys, or what is it that you guys are narrowing down upon, and why is it that you're doing that? No, that's that's very true, Neeraj. Neej, uh, because uh, you know you can uh, you can choose many baskets. You know you can choose the consumer basket in the in the uh, you know uh, in the cap goods sector, like the bearings or the abrasives, which which you know you need to use every time. Which we which we feel is a very exciting space, uh, and we're doing a lot of work there. Uh, so the thing is that you know as your capex increases and more and more uh, manufacturing is done. you will have to use some of these uh, you know uh, you know capex linked consumer companies you know in that sense where you know uh, you have to use the bearings or you have to use the abrasives uh, and there are very few players in that so one also needs to see that an industry which is supposed to grow and which is uh, and there are only a few leaders there so i think one needs to one needs to break it down in such a manner where uh you know if the upcycle comes uh few companies tend to gain a lot of uh or t- tend to take a lot of that market share and if the upcycle doesn't come you don't lose much because these are anyways uh you know companies so i think one needs to especially on the capital goods sector because you know it's very easy uh, some of these capex to get delayed because they are also uh they are also governed by a lot of macro fac- factors but uh, but i think uh, important is that which sector do you choose uh, which area do you want to be in so uh, for example uh, you know we talked about the ethanol story right so now mm-hmm. if there is a cap good company which supplies machines for these uh, you know the capex is coming everyone's announced it right if there is a company that could supply the machines for that capex then that could be an interesting story uh, uh, let's say textiles you know if there is a massive growth in textile if there is a cap good company which is a leader in that space uh, is supplying to so you know we need to find that leadership it cannot be a very very crowded space but uh, wherever there is leadership and there is end market demand and end market capex very clear uh, you know uh, it it makes a big big difference we saw that with uh, the chemical sector you know uh, the last 4 5 years when the chemical sector did well the the companies that were helping them do the capex the you know the reactors or the the other things uh, where there was leadership they they tend to do so well and the multiples and the price went through the roof so i guess you know one needs to find opportunities like that uh, and even on the mainstream you know uh, we have uh, some of these large companies which are uh, you know the old economy the oil and gas i mean they're they're trading at multiples <laughs> which is very very cheap but you can't really get into the value trap right they've always been cheap uh, for some time uh, for us it's very important to see whether the money flow is really shifting right uh, we saw that in it uh, how the money flow started moving from uh, you know the financials into it similarly we need to understand if the money flow starts moving into some of these old economy stocks like you know the ongcs of the world uh, and that's when you know your multiple starts to re-rate and slowly it becomes a consensus you know so i think the idea is to having an open mind uh, when the earnings starts to accelerate and when people starts believing that the tail is ro- long mm-hmm. and the earnings will keep growing uh, that's when your earning your that's when your multiples start to uh, you know uh, go higher and that's when money flow starts coming in